हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर श्रुति फ्रॉम 360 सिक्सटी स्पाइनल वेलनेस एंड फिजियो रिहेबिलिटेशन एज इन आर लाइफ सेशन वी हैव जस्ट टॉक्ड अबाउट द पोस्ट नेटल रिहेबिलिटेशन हियर आई शो यू ऑल दी एक्सरसाइजेज विच वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट बट द वेरी फर्स्ट एंड एन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज टू चेक योर डायस्टेसिस रेक्टाइल ना वॉट इज डायस्टेसिस रेक्टाइल इट इज द स्प्लिट ऑफ द एबडोमिनल मसल्स which happens after the cesarean section or the labor now we'll check the diastasis recti how to check the diastasis recti is keep your three fingers on the linea alba linea alba is the linear vertical line from your diaphragm to your lower abdominal so when we put our fingers just press a little bit inside you'll feel the split of the muscle for healing this rectal abdominis muscles we have various exercises so here i am going to talk about two phases of the exercises phase 1 and phase 2 phase 1 is very basic exercises which you can start immediately after the cesarean or the labor or after a week two week or six week whenever you want and then the phase 2 for phase 2 you have to first complete your phase 1 exercises then you can go to phase 2 exercises there are various exercises in which i have picked up only 5 to 6 exercises so it is easy for you to start with those exercises start with phase 1 we have a very basic exercise which is known as static abdominals or the pelvic tilting exercises in this exercise you have to be in a supine lying position or lying down position with your back flat on the bed or the floor now you have to just tuck in your stomach in you have to breathe out and breathe in breathe out breathe in i'll show you the one just tuck in now breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in you have to do this with your stomach tuck in for 5 to 10 seconds count for 5 to 10 seconds and then leave this you can do at least thrice a day while sitting while standing or by doing any other activity you can do this this will help your rectus abdominis muscle to heal in a very well position let's move on to next exercise this is basic statics with pelvic tilting so in this you again have to be lying down in any way then you have to just tuck in your stomach and take your pelvis posteriorly posteriorly is backwards so similarly tuck in and posterior tilting this also you can do for 10 seconds you can hold for 5 seconds 7 seconds and gradually you can take it to 10 seconds and 10 counts now we move on to the next exercise for that you have to fold your knees you can be lying down anywhere on the bed or on the floor and you have to fold your knees and then similarly in the first exercise what we did you have to tuck in tuck in and then slowly straighten up your knees like this exactly will i'll show it again just fold your knees tuck in and then gradually try to straighten up your knees it should be in your pain limit it should not give you any extra pain other than your pregnancy thing and your back should not arch if your back is arching this is not the correct way to do the exercises these were the exercises for your lower abdominals now we'll move on to upper abdomen for that you have to again lie down on the bed or on the floor put your hands on your thighs and just lift your chest that's it and go down again go down again go down that's it then then again straight now we have last exercise for our phase 1 that is you have to imagine that you have to urinate but you cannot do it under some situation so similar way you have to do this exercises you can be lying down or crook lying which is bending your knees or sitting similarly you have to control your urine release control your urine release control release this you can do 10 to 15 times a day 
with break or without break anyhow it is possible now we'll move on to the phase 2 exercises there are so many exercises in a phase 2 what we can do but we we have selected two to three exercises which i can demonstrate to you for further details you can contact us for exercises the very first exercises i am going to show is with the ball this is the ball which is very helpful in your core strengthening core or the abdominal muscle strengthening we'll first keep it below your heels you can be lying down keep the ball below your heels and just bend your knees a little bit and then lift your pelvis down again lift it up down again down this you can do 5 to 10 times in a day the next exercise is cat camel exercise in this you have to come into a quadruped position that is on all four limbs legs apart hands apart and the back should be straight then first you have to go down from your back go down 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 and then up yes go down all your limits whatever you can go down up go down and up in next exercise we'll take the ball near by you and we'll lean on the ball in leaning put your whole weight on the ball when you are comfortable then you have to lift the opposite hand and opposite leg together now do it yes if you are taking right hand then left leg again down and when you are taking left hand you should take right leg kali again very and once it's done you can do it 5 to 10 times 10 times and once it done it's done come back to your normal position so these are the few exercises which i can show you for further exercises you can come to our clinic thank you